Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to do a review on two different tactical boots because I couldn't find a comparison when I was looking for a new set of tactical boots. I've got the Spider Elite Magnums in the 8 inch and the 511 ATAX Sage in the 8 inch. Now I'm going to start with these ones because I've had these ones for two years and right away they were really comfortable, almost like a tennis shoe type high top. Um, decent with the what I did like about these boots is that they, like I said, were real comfortable, but after two years, I'm starting to get some good wear on the inside. As you can see down in there, it's making holes in the back of the footbed back there. And then underneath on the bottom, it's worn down to the footbed cushioning, and the Vibram tags are all gone. This was supposed to be, this was a Vibram sole, um, so they're worn down flat. This is two years of average use. There's no real active duty going on here. Gone out taking a shooting a few times, but uh, no, they're still comfortable, but I can see that they're going to fall apart in the next year with no problem. So you get two and a half years out of normal use out of them. I also added in the zips because I like to be able to get them on and off fast. So let's go to the 511 Tacticals. These are the ATCs. ATACs, I'm sorry. ATACs and 8 inch and Sage. These I think are better made. I think they're a lot sturdier. There's a lot less things that go wrong with them. These toe caps right here, within six months, started peeling back. I had to glue them back down again. Um, I don't think for a hundred dollar pair of boots they should go within six months and start peeling off, but I think they just needed more gluing and that was better for them. They also have the side zips with a water protector in them. I was kind of impressed with that. They have water protectors to kind of keep the water, extra water out. The elements out um, you zip them up and go really really comfortable right out of the box and then within two days even more so because they form to my walking style another feature I like is on both boots they have a little knife pocket or a coin pocket or you know keep your ID or some money in there I keep a knife on this one and I keep a folding pick set on this one so that if I have to pick any locks and I don't happen to have lock picks with me I can have that one just to get by soles have a deep tread on them. Real nice. All one piece kind of construction. Um, very sturdy. Cushy. You could run in these if you needed to. Wanted to. I'm not necessarily going to run. The big thing on these is the fitment. They give you more room here in the toes for a wider toe splay. That's good and bad. If you're wearing thin socks, it's horrible. You don't want to wear thin socks with these. A thicker sock is better because if you're walking downhill, your feet are going to slide in and out and they're going to hit the end of the toe and that's never good. Okay, so with these, I recommend the 511 ATAX to anybody who's looking for a new tactical boot. Actually, over the Spiders. The Spider Elites are great, but I think these are more advanced. I think they're a sturdier, better built boot for any kind of tactical duty. Um, I also recommend a place to get them. I found the cheapest place is LAPoliceGear.com, and I'll put a link in the video here. Uh, not only did I get the boots for $99, but they also sent me a nice little uh, shooter cap and a couple of pairs of 511 socks that were pretty nice to wear too and they're in the black so that's my review on these I, I really like them both boots I couldn't find a review for both boots at the same time comparing and contrasting um, I have a feeling the 511 tackles is going to wear a lot better and hold up to more more abuse than the magnums but again magnums aren't a bad boot so if you have your preference of choice um, Either one's a fine boot, but I'm, I'm sticking with the 511. And remember, LAPoliceGear.com, they will set you up. I had two-day shipping, and it got to me in two days. All right, this is Dave, AAA Lock. You guys have a good day.